300 is one of the best action historical films of all time, putting historical accuracy and authenticity on the backseat to create a historical epic which emphasizes over the top action sequences and gloriously massive battles. While many historical movie enthusiasts may have some qualms with the liberties 300 took with the historical events during the time, mainstream audiences and the fans of the 300 graphic novels really enjoyed the film and it was a massive box office success when it got released. As longtime viewers of this channel may already know I love 300 and it is the first historical film I saw as a young child that got me hooked into historical movies and a lifelong passion for the genre. So it brings me immense joy and pleasure to announce to you today that we have had confirmation that 300 prequel series is currently in the works at Warner Brothers and we will be getting a chance to dive back into Spartan culture and history with the 300 twist. In this video, I will share with you all the information that is currently available for this 300 prequel and some of my own thoughts and comments on what we can expect from this series. But before we begin, don't forget if you love anything to do with historical movies and historical TV shows, then subscribe to my channel History Sport. This unnamed 300 prequel series is in very early stages of development which means everything in this video is still subject to change and the actual amount of solid information available is pretty slim. But it has been pretty much confirmed that Zack Snyder will be returning as a producer and director for this series, which is absolutely amazing news to hear as it was his unique vision and directing style that made 300 such a success in the first place. If you look at the 300 sequel, 300 Rise of an Empire, which Zack Snyder was not as heavily involved in, you can really see that the cinematography and production value of the film took a massive hit. Even though the sequel had nearly doubled the budget, it just wasn't as of a high caliber film. So Zack Snyder returning to tell a slower paced and more in-depth story about Spartan culture and society is something I am definitely on board for and I think a TV series rather than a movie is better for the type of directing and storytelling style that Zack Snyder does. Besides Zack Snyder, it has also been confirmed that Deborah Snyder, his wife, is also set to return as an executive producer for the series as well as Gianni Nunri, Mark Canton and Bernie Goldman, all of whom were producers on the original film and they are all rumored to currently be in talks to return for this prequel series. So it seems like that Warner Brothers seems to have recognized after all these years that it was the stellar team behind the cameras that played a huge role in making 300 a massive success and they are hoping to reform as much of that team as possible. But aside from that, we have no details about the plot, casting or even a potential release year. But my assumption would be that this will be a prequel series which will focus on Leonidas' early life, perhaps as a young child and his time in the Agoge and the relationship he had with his father, King Anaxandridis II and his brother Dorius and learning how to be a great monarch and a fearless warrior from them and his peers. It has also been rumored that a potential 300 spin-off may be in the works as well, but it definitely isn't what you or I or anyone else would expect from a 300 and 300 Rise of an Empire sequel. The sequel is currently known as 300 Blood and Ashes and it was actually written by Zack Snyder many years ago, but it seems he has recently bought the rights for the sequel from Warner Brothers and he is currently trying to find a production studio to create this 300 spin-off. Like I mentioned previously, it's nothing that anyone would really expect from the 300 world and it is what Zack Snyder labels as an epic and homoerotic gay love story about the relationship between Alexander the Great and his best friend and right hand man Hephaestion. Zack Snyder himself has stated in an interview in regards to 300 Blood and Ashes, I don't know what the marketplace is for an incredibly homoerotic, super violent, super sexual movie, but maybe it's perfect. So it seems that Zack Snyder would want a future sequel movie in the 300 world to focus on Alexander the Great's potential homosexuality, his violent life and over the top sex scenes and nudity. I am sure this would make a great film and there will be an audience for it somewhere. But for me, that entire premise does not fit in well with the 300 series and I personally think any movie or TV show set in the 300 world should focus around Sparta and Spartan culture and society. So to conclude, I am excited to hear that Zack Snyder is returning to the 300 world 
for a prequel TV series and I'm optimistic he will do a good job with this series if he can keep the story grounded and follow the lore already established within the films. But the 300 sequel film around Alexander the Great does not seem like a great idea to me and if he really wants to create this film, he should label it as its own individual project and not as a part of the 300 universe. So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are about this upcoming 300 inspired prequel series and 300 inspired spin-off movie. And remember to stay up to date with everything to do with historical movies and historical TV shows. Subscribe to my channel History Spark and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.